I'm your host, Aaron Martin, and I am so excited to tell you that the Dashers are 4-0 on the season. We're in first place in the Federal Hockey League, and for right now, I'm going to get you back to last week's games. Your Danville Dashers stayed undefeated on the road with back-to-back -back wins against the Brewster Bulldogs and the Berlin River Drivers. There's a lot of things that changed in the FHL over this past season. The biggest looming question is what happened to the Watertown Wolves? The defending champions, where are they? Well, actually, due to financial backing and they are getting a new stadium, they are going to be reconvening in the 2017 season. They're just taking 2016 off. Their head coach plays here in Danville for the Dashers. Brett Clark is playing for us. He's one of our starting forwards. Brett, you're in Danville now. And before we get to the current and the present, I want to get to the past. Okay. Last year, we had the uh, your fortune, our misfortune of watching you coach the Watertown Wolves to just decimating us in the playoffs. They worked hard every day, all season long, and this is what they get for it. Uh, you know, it was a, you know, Good opportunity uh, to, co uh, to coach against a really good coach, uh, Steve Harrison. And I mean, I thought that Danville team had a had a pretty good run. And I thought, you know, it could have went in either way in the finals, the final game. I, you know, going into the game, I never thought anything was sealed up. Uh, we all had the mindset, you know, it's uh, the last game, anything can happen. So I mean, uh, luckily enough, we won, and it's a really good feeling. And hopefully, we can do it again here. Uh, you spoke about Coach Harrison and how uh, your thoughts on that he's a great coach. What is it like to, to play for him, but you're also the assistant coach of this team. So how does that dynamic work? Because not only do you have to play for him, but you have to play with him and you have to strategize with him. How does that all work and what is that, how does that play into your game time? I think the best thing is we get along so well. And I mean, uh, you know, uh, anything I can learn from him along the way, it's better for me from down in the future when I, when I take over uh, a, a, another team at one day. You know, uh, I'm learning so much from him. and. You know, playing for him has is, is, been awesome, and, and you know, um, hopefully we can do something with this team. I think we've had a pretty good start, and uh, hopefully we can continue that. Just as the Dash has got new acquisitions during the offseason, we here at All Access have expanded. Let's take you now to our newest correspondent, Brittany Toulis. On this episode of Danville Dashers All Access, we'll be recapping the next four home games, including tonight's game against the Brewster Bulldogs, Saturday's game against the Port Huron Prowlers, and Sunday's game against the Dayton Demolition. And make sure to stay tuned for a special Know Your Dashers feature with Game Day Ops, Diane Short. I'm standing here with Rana Reporter. Rana, you work for ProHockeyNews.com. You guys are partnering with the FHL this year. What's going on with that? Tell us what's going on. We are partnering player of the month and we are going to feature one player every month we're going to give them a gift and play recognition on our website so how did the partnership come along you guys are a big company got about 200 250 employees yes. you guys are trying to go national what made you want to partner with the FHL well it's been in the works I guess for several years and it just now actually finally happened all right and you're gonna be mostly primarily based here in Danville when it comes to your FHL yes. duties. So are, how familiar are you with the Dashers organization? I'm very familiar with them. In fact, one of your plays is gonna be my next feature. Do you care to tell us or are you gonna, you're gonna keep that secret? I'm gonna keep it a secret for right now. All right, well, we do know that a Dasher will be at least part of a feature, so we're gonna see Absolutely. that later on. Uh, make sure you stay tuned to both Dashers All Access for that and also ProHockeyNews.com. How long have you been a Dashers fan for? Every since I've been here. Um, I'm actually new to the to the Dashers nation. I probably missed less games than some of the players. I've been a Dashers fan since the original one, and uh, this is a good team. Are there any players in particular that you're looking to step up and lead the team? Brosson. I think Brosson's gonna he's he's gonna really take the lead. The goalie on the bench. I kind of like I'm liking Anthony. He's got, he's got a good record so far tonight. That's right, he ain't made no mistakes. Our recap begins midway through the first period as a routine scrum turns into a good old fashioned hockey brawl. Harrison looks disappointed 
as it's bye-bye Cole Hutchinson. Play continues without any luck for Brewster as the game was stopped when goalie Matt Anthony throws the puck and the whistle blew. Regardless of the puck entering the net, it was just too late. Score remains 1-0 Danville. Second period action is forward Justin Braz and tacks on another goal for the Dashers. The assists go to Brad Denny and Mark Corbett. We enter the third period with another impressive Justin Brazen goal to up the Danville lead to 3-0. Yeah! The Bulldogs come alive late in the third with this shot from Brewster's Corey Giroux. A valiant effort from Matt Anthony but sadly, he won't be getting the shutout tonight. Bring out the hats. Justin Brazen gets the hat trick on this center ice, empty netter to seal the deal. Wow. Your Danville Dashers stay undefeated, beating the Brewster Bulldogs four to one. Here we are at the end of Friday night's Brewster Bulldog game. I'm Aaron Martin, as you know, and sitting with me is Kevin Roberts. Kevin, welcome to the show. Thank you, appreciate being here. We just beat the Bulldogs 4-1. to one. A lot happened in this game. It was a very physical game. Anthony, can I, we talk about Anthony for a second? That goalie stopped 42 out of 43 shots. What do, what do you say about that? Like you said, 42 out of 43 saves. Great night all around. We did end up scoring four goals in this game. We won 4-1. to one. Uh, We are now 5-0. and 5-0. Oh. Oh. What a start. Well, very good start. And don't forget, Brosson had the hat trick. Brosson did get a hat trick which is why he was the second star. Would have been the first star if not for Anthony. For the first three weeks of the season, good candidate for FHL Player of the Year. So far, before this game, he had a 94% save percentage, and I think he had 118 saves, I think is the stat. Saving 118 yes. and having a 94% uh, percentage against you. Very good defensively. Well, and that seems to be a theme for the Dashers this year, especially after this game, is defense. Last year, we made it all the way to the playoffs. We made it through the playoffs. We made it all the way to the finals. We went to game five with Watertown. I don't want to say without defense, but we did not look good defensively last year. We had a prolific offense, but we did not play the best defense. You can look at last year's uh, playoff scores, and you can see that. Not happening this year. Uh, McGrath, our other goalie, Saved 30 for 30 and his only start, I believe it was against Port Huron Prowlers. Sure, sure. Shut out Port Huron, 6 0. Yeah. I tell you what, though, man, if I was giving the stars, it would have been Denny, would have been a star. Denny, I, spectacular oh, on defense. What a night he had tonight on defense. Not only was he just everywhere on the ice, his stick in the net was unbelievable. There was a point in the game where Anthony was out of place and Denny just stuck his stick in there to save the net. Amazing yes, night. smacked the puck right out. Game one is in the books. We took the win home tonight, four to one against the Brewster Bulldogs. Tomorrow, we've got the Port here on Prowlers. Hope to see everybody out. It's gonna be a great game. It's gonna be a physical game and hopefully it's gonna be another win. We'll see you tomorrow, Dashers fans. So what are your feelings about the first two periods so far? Not good at all. They're not. They're not playing up to their ability. They came out a little flat, and I think they expected that their record of being undefeated this season was going to carry over. They don't go without working for it. We lost tonight. We did. Uh, weren't able to go six and zero. We played the Port here on Prowlers. Let's take a look at the Prowlers. Uh, they were the Dayton Demons last year. They've got a roster. They got plenty of talent. Joe Pace. Joe Pace got, and Brian Soskin. They got Skinner. Taguna. Mafuz, who is one of the league's most prolific scorers. The writing's on the wall for that team. And tonight, uh, they showed it, unfortunately, against us, beating us 3-1 to one in a game where offense I, there was no offense. Second period proves to be too much for goalie Dalton McGrath as former dasher Dustin Skinner gets the Prowlers rally started. Port Huron tacks on another goal from number 61, Robert Van Weisberg. Adding insult to injury is former dasher Brian Saskin putting the Prowlers up 3 to nothing in the second. Uh, it's important, I think, to note that we did not have Andrew Harrison for this game. He ended up getting suspended. Uh, we told you last uh, night from the panel last night, we told you that we weren't sure what was going to happen with Harrison, why he got ejected. Turns out 
that uh, he ended up getting suspended for, I believe, was a comment to the a, a comment to an boss. official, yes. a comment to a, an FHL official. He ended up getting suspended for a game. So when can we expect to see you back on the ice? I'll be back tomorrow. You got any plans for tomorrow? Anything you're gonna come out? Uh, I gotta score some goals. <laughs> How many, can, you, can you promise us some at least? Uh, hopefully, hopefully a couple, but we'll just say score some goals. Should we get our hats ready? Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Hopefully. We also did not have poor bets in that. He ended up getting called up. Two guys from our starting lineup, and what a, what an impact it had. We had no offense and defensively, other than and I we I said this so much last last night tonight. With the exception of Denny. Denny played phenomenally on defense yet again. He just couldn't they scored. have anybody to back him up. He's got amazing stick work. When he shoots, he's got good placement with his shots. He's all He was all over Mafuz tonight. Mafuz, as good of a player as we said that he was, Denny took him out of the game. Mafuz was completely out of the game. I don't, they had I, nothing to show. I think his plus minus might be two. Might be. Saving the shutout and scoring the Dasher's only goal is Garrett Sarges. The Port Huron Prowlers cost the Danville Dashers their first loss of the year, breaking their five game winning streak. It's all in passing. Uh, passing wasn't the, there. The pass, I mean, the passing, you're right, wasn't there maybe as, as much as it usually is, but. There was no hustle. There was no ambition out there. There was no, let's drive, let's get this goal. Because we could have scored. We've scored a lot of points this year, even to this point. We are a good offensive team. And to see that we couldn't generate anything on offense, skating 6-4 just kind of, it, it aggravated me well, watching the game. We've seen, we've seen it on the road where we know we can generate some offense. There was three games on the road we scored six goals apiece. Yeah, three I mean, games, three at road home, games, at and th against the Prowlers, we beat them six nothing. Yes. We we shut them out. But you know, all, all in all, we might have lost tonight, but five and one's not bad. No, I'll take it. So we will see you tomorrow night after we play the Dayton Demolition. Yeah. What a physical uh, game this was! Everybody was hitting everybody. Brent Clark gets the Dashers on the board early in the second period. The assists go to Ray Tremblay and Andrew Harrison. Continuing this trend is number seven, Justin Brazen, with the assists from Daniel Turgeon and Justin Lavac. Third period sees some controversy over this play. The referee calls for the goal and Dayton has a few choice words for the FHL off-ice official. Taking a closer look at this shot, Dayton might just have had a case. Regardless, the score remains 3-1 thanks to Daniel Turgeon. Your Danville Dashers defeated the Dayton Demolition to bring their FHL record to 6-1. Denny, again. <laughs> can I talk really? about again. Denny again? What a force on defense we have. My goodness, he's stopping pucks, putting his body on the line. Well, and, and let, me, let me take a second here to take a step back to defense tonight in general. At the end of the second period, the Demolition only had 14 shots on goal to our 30. And uh, that was Cole Hutchinson, that was Brad Denny, that was everybody. And that was a lot not even in getting it into our zone. Right. They, they, they were... We played so much of this game in front of their net, and the offense clicked again. But the starting lineup was a little different. We had Daniel Turgeon, AJ Tesserero, Justin Brazen, Zamora, and Shapitsin. Shapitsin is starting to come around on defense. Shapitsin has been hitting a lot better. His hits are up. His animosity is up. He 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 played really well tonight and very physical. I mean, this year the whole team is playing defense. I didn't expect to see the whole team play not this well defensively. Not when you're on a you're an offense based team. Oh yeah, I mean. It's a very old saying in sports, defense wins championships. We seem to be calm. Very calm, uh, very relaxed. Last night uh, in the loss, we seemed kind of on edge. Tonight we were very calm, we were very cool, we were collected, 
and we ran our offensive plays. Last night, we had a lot of people just taking the puck up ice by themselves. They weren't in the game flow. Usually you see them go behind the net, you know, set up plays. This didn't happen last night. Tonight was more dasher hockey. And it was exactly that. That is the best way to put it. It was exactly dasher hockey. We took our time, set up our offensive plays, and when we did, we scored. When Danville Dashers All Access returns, we will bring you the complete highlights of the next two home games against the Danbury Titans. Now enjoy this exclusive interview with our Director of Game Day Operations, Diane Short. Please say your name and official title. Diane Short, Director of Operations. How long have you been a hockey fan in Danville? For a long time. I actually started out uh, not liking hockey and my son um, worked for the uh, Danville Wings. He started out as on their pep crew, then went to be their mascot and got us involved. Begged us to house players. So we started housing players, and, uh, and then I started working with the team. The first game um, was a little violent, so it kind of turned me off. But after that, and then I got to learn the players, the coaches, so I got into it. So what is it like on game day? How do you start your day out? I usually have everything prepared. I'm a firm believer in let's get prepared and do things the week before. When I come in, I'm usually getting things ready as far as out in the arena, making sure all the tables are set up for the guests. What are some goals you have for the franchise as a whole for this season and the rest of your career here? I just want to build on what Coach Harrison started last year, um, getting out into the community, getting the boys out there more, and uh, getting more fans in here. Well, that's going to do it for another edition of Dash's All Access. We had a really good weekend, Kevin. Two and one on the total stand. Can't complain more than that. Looking forward to Prowlers and Dan Perry this weekend. That's right. We got the we got the board here on Prowlers. We got them on Wednesday. It's going to be a good game. We're one and one against each other in the season right now. I know the Dash is going to be ready for that. What about Dan Barry? What do you think about that? Dan Barry? We haven't seen much, but you know what? From last year, they look like they can put up some pretty good hockey numbers. We'll be ready for it. All right. What a wonderful game that's going to be. What a wonderful weekend we got to look forward to. And but for this week. Here at Dashers All Access, we'd like to say Happy Thanksgiving, and we will see you next week. Happy Thanksgiving. Use one hot pepper.